Okay, one, two, three. In the beginning, of course, Dixie was um, a walk around at the end of a end of a minstrels show, and was the opportunity to get everybody out on stage in their own characters, in their own costumes, dancing in their own kind of way to give a climax to the show. I wish I was in the land of cotton, old time there I'm not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixie Look, it seems quite possible maybe even quite likely that Emmett got this tune if not the words of the song but maybe even the words of the song or some of the words of the song from the Snowden family of this black family of musicians in Mount Vernon, Ohio. When a song becomes a national hit as Dixie was it has to have a much more genericized meaning Simmons Seed and Sandy Bottom wouldn't mean anything to somebody who was trying to sing this in their parlor, but old times there are not forgotten would mean a lot to Americans who are looking nostalgically even then at the good old days as America is changing. So it's not surprising that Emmett might have changed those lyrics to something more generally appealing and generic. We know what Dan Emmett said in later life. I was an abolitionist and I was, you know, very much against, you know, the association of Dixie with the cause of the South. But then there may be other evidence to suggest otherwise. I, I think it's hard to tell. I certainly don't know for sure. The Citadel as an institution, I guess, first was founded in 1822 in Charleston, South Carolina. Dixie is the school's fight song. It's supposed to unite cadets. It, is not, it no longer unites cadets. There are now African-American students on campus who see Dixie, who view Dixie differently. I have to admit, um, in talking about Dixie, that um, I've never learned to play Dixie. I've stayed away from Dixie because of all of the cultural associations that go along with it. I just stayed away from it as something I would want to learn to perform. Dixie has been debated and dealt with and deconstructed and appropriated, um, you know, for years and years. The fights about Dixie, the arguments about Dixie aren't just about this song and aren't just about the past. They're about um, inclusion and acceptance in the present. If you deny or completely re rebuke what I think about Dixie, my opinion on Dixie, then essentially what you're doing is you're denying me equal acceptance into the present, into the present society. You're saying my ideas don't matter. Does Dixie have a place in the future? Well, certainly it has a place in, in our historical understanding of the past as it exists in the present and the future. But as a song, I'm afraid it's so heavily fraught that it's difficult to imagine ever recapturing that song. We Can we I introduce we the band? We should introduce <laughs> the man. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, oh, Brian I'm from Joe. the Sun. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. 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 I'm M